Girl Scouts has a proud history of preparing girls to be leaders, and nowhere is this more apparent than in our highest award, today known as the Gold Award. Since 1916, Girl Scouts have demonstrated a higher commitment to improving their communities and advocating for sustainable change. Over the years, the highest award has gone by many names, including the Golden Eagle of Merit, the Golden Eaglet, the Curved Bar, the First Class, and now, since 1981, the Gold Award. My name is Ruth Worley Massey. I received my Golden Eagle Award on March 13, 1939, with great anticipation and excitement. There weren't many opportunities for girls at that time. The fun things were, were through Girl Scouting, and I loved the whole program. The epitome was to earn enough badges and be the type of person you could get recommendations and for to apply to be a Golden Eaglet. If I could summarize my experience in Girl Scouting, I would say two things. It broadened me more than anything else I ever did, and has continually, and I love doing it. It made me the person I have that I became and am today. I'm very grateful. My name is Suzanne Lemenestrel, and I'm a senior program officer at the National Academies for Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. I joined Girl Scouts when I was in the fourth grade. I uh, earned the first class award, and I was 14 years old, and that was 1979. Back then, the first class was, as, as the Gold Award is now, it, it was really the culmination of your Girl Scout career. I decided to do um, a high adventure um, kind of challenge course. I would say that the first class award and, and in general my Girl Scout experience definitely helped me in um, going on to pursue a, a PhD. I'm a developmental psychologist so I, I lead studies that have to do with children's well-being. I think um, all those experiences that I had in Girl Scouts definitely had an influence on the career path that I chose. I've been a Girl Scout leader for almost 13 years. I've had two girls in my troop complete their Gold Award. The Gold Award is significant because it gives an opportunity for Girl Scouts to do something that they are incredibly passionate about and to go deep in it. They spent about 80 hours working on a project of their choosing. And in our region, we have about 200 girls that receive the Gold Award every year. And it is incredible. It's like the PhD in Girl Scouting. My name is Yasmin Arrington. I am the Executive Director of Scholarships. And I am also an Education Fellow at Hager Sharp. I, I believe it was one of the, de the best decisions that my grandmother and I could have made that I joined Girl Scouts. My Gold Award project ended up being what's called Scholar Chips, and Scholar Chips is now a, an official 501c3 nonprofit that supports youth with parents in prison. My father, growing up, had been in and out of prison. I did some research and I discovered that over two million youth in the United States have a parent in prison. And so that started being Scholar Chips, which is both a mentoring and um, a scholarship for youth who are graduating from high school. This is my Girl Scout Gold Award. I was happy, but I was also relieved. <laughs> I said, thank goodness. You know, this is a, it is a big accomplishment. As we raise the visibility of the Gold Award and the recognition of the Gold Award and the accomplishments that the girls have achieved when they uh, re receive the Gold Award, it, in, it widens the opportunities for them. My name is Meghna Shankar and I'm in Troop 1745. I've been in Girl Scouts since I think third grade and I started off as a brownie. I think the main thing that I've learned is um, how powerful I can be, the fact that I can actually make an impact on people's lives because Girl Scouts put a lot of emphasis on volunteer service. So I'd heard a lot about the Gold Award Project and I'd heard that it looks really good on college applications and that you can get scholarships from it. So, and I, um, I also just wanted to take my service to the next level. I was offering a summer program in basketball for children at the Cath Catherine K. Hanley Shelter. Basically, it was just a three-day program um, where I tried to teach them as much as I could about basketball in that short time. The moment that I realized I was doing something awesome was when I went back to the shelter and um, we were working on uh, setting goals with them and there was this little girl who was in my basketball program I was trying to get her to write down her goal and I asked her like who do you want to be when like when you grow up and she put her hand on my arm and she looked at me and she was like I want to be like you the gold award is the biggest service project I've ever done and when I'm on stage and getting my gold award pin um, all that hard work would have finally paid off 
I am proud to be a part of the Gold Award family. I am proud to be a part of the Gold Award family. I'm proud to be part of the Gold Award family. I'm proud to be part of the Gold Award family. When I think in my life, as in retrospect, 92 years worth, that more than half of my life was spent being intimately involved with Girl Scouting. Thank you for that.